I'm meteorologist Adam Baker along with Kyle Thiem here and welcome to our weekly weather briefing from the Weather Service Peachtree City. What we'll be dealing with is being stuck in a warm and moist active pattern where three main disturbances or frontal systems are going to be on tap. The first of which late today into tonight, the second on Saturday, and the third on Sunday. After this we should transition into a cooler and less active period. First of all, you may be asking yourself, are we really in January? Well, looking back as uh, what we've seen as far as high temperatures across most of the area, have actually been 20 to 25 degrees above normal. And you can see here some of the records that were reached across the sites. And of note, Atlanta has broken the streak of 70 plus degree days. And while we've been warm, we haven't seen hardly any change with the current drought conditions since last week. We do have a more detailed drought information statement through our website. What should improve the drought, though bring us increased storm chances, will be a series of three rounds of disturbances coming across the area. The first of which this evening, the second on Saturday, and the third on Sunday as the upper trough amplifies to the west. As far as this first round, we're looking at the main period to be late this evening into the early morning hours of Friday and the best chance for any strong to severe storms are going to be in the far north northwest part of the state. The main threat with any storm will be damaging winds with, with this first round. For the next round on Saturday we do see an increased chance for some strong to severe storms mainly in the the shaded area shown here where the SPC does have us in a slight to marginal risk across the area. Any, uh, any stronger storms here are going to bring some damaging winds, potentially large hail, and weak tornadoes across the area. Still uncertain here as to the greatest timing, but most likely in the afternoon to evening period. And for Sunday, we still have a continued chance for some severe storms, mainly south, along and south of the Atlanta metro area. The greatest chance for any, any stronger development is going to be in the morning to mid-afternoon. And then also we're looking at the main threats of damaging wind and isolated tornadoes. Any hail potential should be slightly lower than Saturday. Throughout this period we're, we're looking at an isolated flooding threat. Generally three to four inches across the area, though locally higher possible, with any training storms or showers. So what's next week looking like? Well, Monday is going to be breezy behind that last frontal system. Some lingering showers uh, over parts of the north. Then Tuesday is drier, but a, a chance for showers will be returning by midweek, and temperatures will be slightly cooler, though still above normal. Now taking a glimpse into week two, we can see that there's a greater chance for below normal temperatures and below normal precip. So in summary again, we are stuck in this active pattern at least through the weekend, and we're looking at Saturday and Sunday as the best chance for, for any severe potential. Main threats again, damaging winds, hail, and isolated tornadoes.